It's Patrick at Pals, and we're continuing installing this carburetor, a 750 mechanically operated carburetor, onto an engine. And we've already set the throttle blades. So the next step in bench tuning this carburetor is to put in the correct power valve. Now the power valve is located right in this block right here, and it's for fuel enrichment. All Hollies come with a 6.5 power valve. So what you need to do is measure your engine's vacuum at a steady rate, at an idle. And the engine that this car is going on registers at 15 inches of vacuum. So you divide that number by 2, and that's the power valve that should go in the car. 15 divided by 2 is a 7.5, and that's what this power valve is. The 6.5 is just not quite right for this application. It would probably work, but it wouldn't be as efficient and we want it to be as efficient as it can, so we're going to change it to a 7.5. Now, let's say that you have 10 inches of vacuum. You've got a radical cam, and you've only got 10 inches of vacuum. Well, you would take and divide that by 2, which is 5. They don't make a number 5 power valve. They come in 4.5 or 5.5. So you would go to the next lower one, which would be a 4.5 power valve, and that would be right for the application if you had 10 inches of vacuum. So we're going to do, we're going to change this valve and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll get it out of the carburetor and we'll change it on the next video. If you've got a carburetor, bring it to PALS. See you soon.